Now I'm going to demonstrate installing the lift tab kit onto the motion arm. Just like the elbows, when you get the lift tab kit, it's going to be ready to go for left or right elbows. Um, and that will determine which, which cover you use. In the kit, gonna, there's going to be five of uh, these little set screws. There's going to be two Phillips head screws. And then you're going to have the rest of the lift tab assembly here. It's also going to come with the uh, installation uh, wrench for those set screws. If you look at the motion arm, you see, you see two holes on the left, two holes on the right. Today we are going to set this up as a left uh, motion arm. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to take one of my set screws and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to set it right here on the left side of that elbow. I'm going to grab my little wrench. And I'm simply going to turn this screw in again clockwise. And what I want to do here with this is I want to take this completely flush with the outer portion of that elbow. Okay, so I've got that nice and flush. Um, so it's definitely below that surface. Then I'm going to take this part of the lift tab and I'm going to set it over here. And I'm going to take one of my Phillips screws. And I'm going to go ahead and Screw this in, and again, I'm not trying to tighten this down. I'm not even stunning it down, okay? I just, this is just gonna hold that in place while I determine my lift tab um, angle and direction of pull. And if you're looking here, you see these holes are gonna line up with that set screw that I've already um, screwed in. Once I determine my angle here, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to back that set screw out, okay? And the reason I'm doing that, again, is so that lift tab doesn't move. So I back that screw out just enough. Um, and again, you can see where that should set in the assembly. Once I'm done with that, then I am going to go ahead and tighten down, tighten down that screw, okay? Everything's there nice and flush in the... Uh, in the right place. You notice I have several other set screws here. Um, on this one, you can see on, on my elbow here, I just filled in those other holes on the other side um, with those. Nice way to, to have some extra screws handy. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my ball terminal here. And I'm going to grab my lift tab assembly cover. So, now I'm just going to secure everything down with that second Phillips head screw. All right. Just make sure everything's nice and tightened down there. And that is what a properly installed lift tab assembly will look like. Thank you. And if you have any questions, please contact us at Phil Hour Motion Control.